Hello, my angels. It is secret. I haven't seen or heard from you guys in a while. It is your Friday wake up call. Thank God it's Friday. T G I F. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's cleanse the energies in both your space and mine. Turn down the volume because sometimes, or most times, I do cleanse the space at the beginning of each video. Heavenly Mother, Lord of Power and Might, with all your grace and spirit, please. Bless this energy and space before me and the vibes and energy of the Sagittarius and Cross Watchers that are coming towards this channel and the recordings that I post here. May I be encouraged and continue to be blessed with your guidance and your word. And may peace be amongst all of us that come to this channel. This is your Friday wake up call. It's like the pre-reading that I do for you before the weekly reading. We are mid-month in april so i'll be trying to work on those for you i didn't get a chance to uh, i've been kind of busy but um know that i'm always encouraged to put a lot of content when i get a lot of feedback comments and subscribes back so the more you show me love the more i'm willing to spend more free time giving you this beautiful free content and don't forget i'm not monetized i'm not compensated all i ask is for your free comments likes and shares and of course to subscribe what are you waiting for if you haven't and welcome to those of you who have okay have a few decks here Heavenly Father, we thank you for blessing this space and energy. It's got me to this wake up call messages. What is it that Sagittarius should be focusing on or thinking or maybe reconsidering before we start this weekend or this Friday? Well, we start out with connect with nature. For many of you, maybe you've been sick or maybe, you know, you've been stuck in the house being a caretaker to a family friend or, or, or someone close to you. Or you've been indoors because you're cramming down, you know, for the holiday breaks or the different seasonal breaks that you have in school where you're cramming down because you're writing a thesis, you're writing, you know, different um, graduation ceremonies, things getting prepared for your graduation. You're making sure you're getting your credits and everything in a row. So a lot of you could be really just behind the computer, behind the desk, writing away, studying away. But no matter what you're doing, if it's not allowing you to have a break or if you're not taking a break, you need that vitamin E. You need to get out in the sunshine. The universe wants you to connect with nature. It's a great way to break up the monotony of your day, right? Taking small walks or little hikes. If you, you're fortunate to li live in a warm climate, you know, going for a swim. But you need to get out in nature. You need to breathe that good prana, that good air, and just Get away so it refreshes your thoughts. When you know when you're stuck, whether you're you're brainstorming or networking or studying, when you have a little break where you feel like I can't create, I can't think of anything. I, I I'm jammed with my thoughts. Taking a break, getting away from your desk, and going out and just taking your mind off your studies and your work, you'll be surprised once you let yourself relax and enjoy and be one with nature, how your creativity, your thoughts, and bright new ideas will come to you. So yes, you will be feeling rejuvenated and inspired as you spend more time outdoors. So definitely, we want to see you guys graduate. We want to see you guys get your promotions and these new careers and start these new companies that you're working towards but we also want you to have a healthy life and work balance and to be you know excited about what you're doing having passion and having the energy to commit to it we also get the message of business venture trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity well didn't i just say that many of you could be doing that and if you're not this could be a sign or message that that's something that you should especially if you're in a company or if you're in a position where you feel you know your welcome is over. You want to broaden your, 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 your horizon. Maybe your firm is not going in the direction that you want to go in. Or maybe financially your firm doesn't really compensate you for what you need for your life value and purpose. So anytime you've outgrown your firm or you're going in different directions and you want to be an entrepreneur and you have the blessings of the universe, why not go ahead and start looking into these opportunities? While you're out there on that picnic or while you're out there taking that nice stroll on the beach, start brainstorming and thinking. Maybe you might network with people who are also in those line of thoughts or in those actual businesses that you want to start. Finally, from this deck, we get travel. Well, 
Travel is definitely a good way to take a break, right? Especially after you've graduated or you've completed a real difficult task or you had a real personal issue that you had to deal with the past couple of weeks or months. And you just want to travel just to, again, to rejuvenate and refresh. We don't want to be burnt out. We don't want to be tapped out. So an upcoming trip proves to be a life-changing event for many of you in a positive way. So that positive outcome could be Wherever you're traveling to could be your new home, could be where your new job is or your new boo, or it could be just something where it's starting a new path of life for you, another part of your journey. So I love that. Could also be a sign that many of you need to start booking your trips that you have planned for you and your family or for yourself if you're traveling solo. We also get the message of union. The time has come to break through your barriers so that the fear of a deeper union can um, be experienced with others around you. Allow yourself to be open, vulnerable, and available for new experiences of intimacy. Unions with love, friendship, and or spiritual guides are coming. Let go of trauma bonds and welcome in healthy new love. So for those of you this Friday where you're on the fence or you're really considering breaking up with someone or walking away from a toxic, unhealthy, unproductive relationship, the universe is like saying, yes, go ahead, do it. There is other you know, potential opportunities there for you. Even if they're not romantic, they could be much healthier than what you're in now. At the bottom of that deck, we get the card of baptism. You're walking through fire and are coming out clean on the other side. The immense challenge you're overcoming has earned you a victory through the rite of passage. You are brave and you will forever be changed. This is a defining moment, Sagittarius, a life or death moment, so to speak, that has reshaped you. Like the phoenix, you are made anew. So for many of you who've been closeted in or you've been kind of be, been an introvert, in a sense, because you were going through something, you're going to come out of it. And out of this, you're going to have this renewal. You're going to feel anew. All the pain and suffering and loss is going to be a yesterday problem. Today's problem is going to be rejoice, replenishing, and rebuilding. And again, tapping out into nature, getting out in nature, focusing and, you know, creating new healthy relationships and networks. And yes, even traveling or possibly moving is all part of what is coming your way in this new part of your journey. Let's see what else we get. Profession. So yes, this Friday, the wake-up call message really is focusing a lot on your career. So a lot of you could be making key changes on your careers or things could be going on that are going to affect your careers. Wow, followed by the death card. So yes, a lot of you could be saying, you know what, I can't do this no more. I don't want to do this nine to five. I don't want to be locked in in this particular company or do this particular job or do a particular job in a particular state. So yes, you're thinking about you know, putting in your resignation, retiring, whatever the case may be. But yeah, you, you're done with something and you want to start anew. And a lot of you, it's you doing your own thing where you call the shots. Be careful this weekend with your personal properties. When you go out, make sure everything's secure. Secure all your personal things with you. Um, you know, keep your surroundings. Be aware. Because there's a lot of people who are down and out in their luck. And they're out there looking to scam and to do things. So just be careful, okay? For many of you... It's a reminder to persevere that no matter what you're going through, yes, even the difficult and challenging times, eventually things will work out as they should for you. Some of you could be dealing with a love-hate relationship, and there's going to be a moment now where you're going to have to make a decision. Is this the type of relationship that you want? Is this the way you feel love should be? Can you exist in a relationship where one minute you're good and the next minute you're not? And it's just a continuous seesaw of emotions. At the bottom of the deck, we get secluded, separation. Didn't we start out this energy? So a lot of you, if you're not staying to yourself or being secluded for business reasons or educational reasons or family reasons, you're being secluded and separating and soul searching because of this love-hate, this push and pull, this indecision, this toxicity that you might have with someone in a love relationship. 
and you're trying to find yourself, you're trying to decide what am I going to do with, you know, with this person, with my life, or is this person going to be in that next phase of whatever I decide to do? In the middle of the deck, wow, look what we got. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a confirmation with a lot of these cards that we got. You are ready to say goodbye, not only to a career, but to a relationship that for all intended purposes, really, probably was over for a minute already, but maybe you were holding on thinking things could get better. But no, I think you're going to come to the realization that it's time to call it quits. We get the card of impersonator. <clears throat> Someone could be copying your style. Someone wants to be you. Someone can be wanting to replicate what you do at your job. Or if it's personal, someone could want to be like you to fit in a group or to be attractive to your person. We also get threatening. Someone feels threatened by you. That's why they want to impersonate you. They want to be so much like you because they see what you attract. They see the friendships and the different things that come to you so easily, it seems, in life. Followed by a groupie. Yeah, this person is a groupie. So someone could be around your 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 friends or your loved one where they just kind of attach on like a groupie. Groupies just what they are, a groupie. They go from one group to another. You know, they just go wherever the action is. They kind of follow the crowd. They don't really make decisions on their own. Again, they just go with the status quo. So there could be somebody that's a groupie that has the hearts or has a liking to someone that you might like or and they want them for themselves or they just they're jealous of you because of your energy maybe this person isn't as beautiful or as bright or as talented you know maybe they're not um so outspoken as Sagittarius and so confident about themselves and they feel like you are a threat to them in the group like you know a lot of people have um imposter syndrome this person might be like that right like they give the appearance that they're secure, but really they're not. So you can't help who you are, but just always be very aware. It's always the awareness of who is around you and who you can give your trust to and who you should question that is in your surroundings or surrounded by the people that you associate with. The last card for this deck is Once You Back. This could be someone who's kind of obsessed with you or has a gripe with you because they could be dating or talking to someone that was once with you and they feel this person might want you back. Maybe you've been in the same company and they just don't like the way how this person moves when they're around you. As we come to a close, for many of you, music is the answer to where you might want to change your career. You could be an artist. Maybe you need to, you know, dust your, your music bag or wherever you keep your instrument in and start playing it. Not only will it heal you and help you, but it can also be a source of income. At the bottom of the deck, children, many of you are called as light workers, as healers, as teachers, as scholars. So your next job or career could be involved working with children. And as we close out with the energy for this Friday wake up call with the tarot, the world. This is a sign for many of you that everything is coming full circle. To not live so much in the world, but live towards the world, give towards the world, live for yourself, evaluate all that you've done within this world, how you create what you give and what you take from this world, how everything kind of comes full circle. And when you write this next chapter or you embark on this new change and journey, whether it's in your relationship or in your job, what is that going to look like next year when this world card comes up for you, right? When a particular cycle is closing, how do you want that next cycle to close out? So evaluate what you've accomplished, what you've traveled, what you've done and said and experienced so far, and embrace all of that and use it towards what the next ending, again, of your next part of your journey shall be. This is your Friday wake-up call. Take heed. Ciao.